utilize them in all matchups, they're really effective. The Zealot count is growing for T-Roy, and not a lot of Stalkers, and this army is quite weak right now, if you can't tell, because T-Roy is getting such a large amount of expansions. Two right now, one at the gold and one at the third, which is actually, I feel, too much. Because at, at this stage, he knows I'm going to have a large amount of uh, a large macro capability, and looks like there's a mistake for me not sending or not transferring drones to my third. T Roy's nexus at the gold is about halfway, and his third at the natural is also at a similar pace in construction. Looks like T Roy is going to be starting to construct phoenixes, which is. A bit of an odd choice. He should be able to guess that I'm going for mutil I mean, I'm sorry, infestors. And infestors, most of the time, will be able to do a large amount of damage to phoenixes if they clump up. Or if he spreads them, the infestors might, may, might not be able to do a large amount of damage. Looks like these two board race and the Phoenix taking out some overlords over here, transferring drones to my third, finally. The third at the gold is almost up, and the third at the natural is up. His upgrades look to be at almost 2-1, which is not the best at this uh, period in time. Although, if you look at my upgrades, I'm doing fairly terribly. I only have 1-0, but I'm starting... 1-2 right now. Or 2, or yes, 1-2, sorry. Not injecting at my third, big mistake, and not getting a fourth or fifth, that's actually ridiculous. I need to be doing that, but it does look like three overlords are going to be going into his main and dropping right now. Still producing probes at his nexus just to try to get some saturation at that gold. Six infestors up for me drop going to be happening right now putting down some cannons just as it comes in not a good not a good choice a large amount of zealots being warped in and those are most likely going to be able to deal with these circles no problem three more zealots coming in for Roy. that is going to dispel that drop or dispel any notion of power in that drop still a larger zealot count and growing but he should know that i'm getting infestors which will do a large amount of damage to that Two board rays coming in, those early board rays that he made hasn't been, haven't been of much use until now. They're going to be able to kill a few drones, just to look at the worker's kill tab, or <laughs> apparently close the screen. Looks like these infestors are going to be coming over here to deal with it, putting down one infested Terran, five, four infested Terrans, and fungling that. Going to be able to, going to be trying to fungle it, and... A correct fungal here, going to be trapping those void rays, going to be removing action mode, as I like to call it. Large zealot count, large archon count, very good against Ling and Fester. Disregarding the zealots, but the archons combined with the zealots have a large capability of destroying these zerglings. I'm going to have to transition into a huge broodlord count right now. And it looks like, actually, I do have a hive, and getting a greater spire right there can be a very effective way to get broodlords out quickly. Looks like I am not getting Neural Parasite, and I feel that is a correct decision, because Neural Parasiting Archons is not the best choice. On my lings, I seem to have 2-1, which is Absolutely very terrible. A drop going down at the third here of T-Roy. Going to be destroying a few probes, but not a large amount. At this time, when he is distracted with his army, I could actually go and kill his gold third. However, I, at the time, I was thinking that he may have some lar a larger amount of defense, although that is a bad decision, because I could be scouting the area. Still a large Ling count. Going to be putting these into Overlords. Probably going to be dropping the main, but he is prepared. T-Roy is. Looks like the third of T-Roy has a very small saturation. Not good at this point in time. Looks like only one armor. That's, that is way too late. And my Broodlords are late as well. They should come at about 12 or 13 minutes. But it's already 17 and 13. 1730 and there's absolutely nothing. No Broodlord production. Looks like I'll be upgrading Adrenal Glands right now. Those are going to be very effective at dealing with late game Protoss armies as 
uh, high, highly upgraded lings do scale very do scale very well with zealots as they will at uh, late game when you have fully upgraded zerglings versus fully upgraded zealots the zerglings believe it or not will actually do much better because they are so cheap and each zergling gets that upgrade of course looks like the overlords that i sent earlier are going to be making its way into his main possibly going to take out a lot of production here a fleet beacon going down gonna be for a mothership most likely as carriers are not the most uh, effective choice against brood lords and infestors looks like i am producing no corruptors right now that is not a good choice plus three armor plus two attack on for me and i should have three three right now but unfortunately i do not no ultralisks favoring brood lords as versus this type of army or rather versus any protoss army with archons Ultralisks are not a good choice because Archons absolutely demolish Brute Lord. I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, Archons absolutely demolish Ultralisks. Possibly gonna take out this Templar Archives. That would be huge. Delaying the High Templar tech. Not gonna let him storm on my Zerglings, which are also important right now because I have such a huge amount of them. Looks like I still have a large link out. I feel that is a mistake for me right now. I should have a smaller link count because these broodlords will be extremely important. Probably going to be suiciding these zerglings into this gold base. But these archons intercepting the zerglings, destroying a large amount of them, probably going to be able to just destroy them all before they can do any real damage whatsoever. Trying to distract him, distract him in the main, but just these three archons are enough. And I wasn't paying attention and or it was lag lagging, so I couldn't really run away from the Archons as well as I would like to. Take a look in the unit count. I do only have four larva. Horrible injects for me right now. And no macro hatches. That's actually like, this game feels like it's a gold level game or something. And I have way too few expansions. And, and actually I have way too few drones because 72 is not enough for all these bases. And it, I know I have like a large amount of money however once you get brood lords that money is actually diminished extremely quickly t roy's army is actually mainly zealots right now which will actually be very good against my zerglings because they are only 2-2 although they do have the adrenal glands take a look at t roy's upgrades it seems to be 102 which Actually, these Zerglings may be able to do a very good job against these because they are 2-2 and they have Adrenal Glands, so I take back what I said earlier. Zealot Leg Speed is researched for t -Roy. These Overlords just kind of hanging out near his main, still making probes. I'm not sure if I agree with that decision, although I guess he does need some minerals right here. t is a bit slow on his macro and does not have enough uh, gateways, although now he does because he just morphed those in. Looks like 7 Archons for t -Roy. That's actually a decent amount to deal with all these Zerglings because Archons are so effective versus everything Zerg has, except maybe... Not sure. Maybe Roaches? Roaches actually die fairly quickly to Archons as well. 82 Zerglings! That is way too many. Should not be having that amount because I would rather have a larger Broodlord and Fester count, which is actually the... which is the prime composition right now. Tiroi mobilizing his army, going to be trying to take out this 4th and 5th most likely, which is unfortunate for me because I have not been able to get a good economy going. A phoenix intercepting this overlord with two infestors in it want, was going to try to drop here, not knowing that a small probe count was there. Going to be taking out my 4th right now, not good for me as I previously mentioned. Still too many Zerglings have not suicided the more so I've accidentally opened the spending tab there. Looking at APM, I'm at about 104, but that's actually just Blizzard APM. If we go to EPM, I'm 200, so shut that off. Anyway, units morphing into 5 Broodlords, 10 Banelings, just to try to take care of these Zealots. Believe it or, believe it or not, Zealots actually die extremely quickly to Fungal plus Banelings, as do any Protoss unit that is, or rather, as do Stalkers and Zealots. 
large brood lore count for me, or rather large, uh, comparing it to his army. His army should actually die to mine, because mine is so much tr stronger. It actually hard counters what he has, because the Banelings destroy the Zealots on their own, and the Infestors plus the Baneling drops and the Broodlords will actually destroy him. Looks like all my Zerglings, I'm heeding my own advice right here, trying to make sure I don't have such a huge Zergling count, trying to kill both of these bases to make sure he doesn't have a huge economy, because these Zerglings are just dead weight right now. I really need some more Broodlords if I'm going to be able to take out his progressing army. Looks like no added production been made for a while for t -Roy. I still feel he does not have enough gateways and or general production. Some stalkers being left behind here, good choice to defend against any drops that may try to destroy that expansion. Cannons in the main, cannons at the natural, very effective way of dealing with drops in general and just run buys. If you take a look at the unit count, I actually have 8 Broodlords now, which is still not a lot. I, I need upwards of 10 or more. Looks like these Ling's gonna be running into the May. I have 6 FPS right now, that's really slow, but who cares? Trying to kill that Templar Archives, I will be able to do so. No more High Templar for him, even though he hasn't made any High Templar, which I feel is a mistake. He could be able to s even storm the Broodlords. Is Storming the Broodlords is actually surprisingly effective. I should be getting some armor on these Broodlords, unfortunately. I have not... Not these failings are not in the overlords. They really need to. I don't look very prepared, although it seems like I will be. Looks like I'm gonna be fumbling those zealots, absolutely demolishing them. And he, his army is actually just doing terribly against mine right now. Not even able to move because of these fungal growths. Even if I have the bait. If I had the Banelings in this army, his army would be absolutely destroyed by now, because the Banelings would have destroyed these Zealots. Looks like the Protoss long distance mining with his probes, strangely enough. Because... Actually, no. Never mind. I've actually destroyed a large amount of his bases. Actually taking one, two, three, four bases right now. That's huge. I, looks like I lost a few investors in the battle, but that's fine. I have enough to remake them. Unfortunately for me, I'm only on three bases when I should be on about four or five, even seven or something. I need to be destroying these bases for Kiroi until he gets a good economy going. Once these bases are up, t -Roy will have a huge economy lead versus me, be able to destroy my army, however intimidating it may seem. Unfortunately for me, my Broodlord count has diminished to, about, to only about three, which is rather unfortunate. Zergling is destroying t -Roy's main right now, but the fact remains that t -Roy's production is actually just as, at his natural and at his gold, even though that isn't a large amount. He needs some more, but if I take down these bases, I would... I would... If I was watching this match live, I would be telling t -Roy to not make more production if his bases get killed. Because he wouldn't be able to support anything. If he made too many gateways right now, or too much production too many production facilities, and I destroyed these bases, he would be so far behind because he'd be wasting so much on the production facilities. All of his probes, or I'm sorry, not all, but a large amount of his probes are at his... At this... Third? Fourth? Fifth? I don't know what to call it. But uh, a bulk of these probes are going to die to these fully upgraded, upgraded servers. They do so much damage, it's ridiculous. Only three Broodlords for me, but looks like I'm going to be morphing in two more. A lone Corruptor here. Not 